Adobe Photoshop. Hey, what's up? Robert here, coming at you with another Photoshop tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to work with layer comps here in Photoshop, sort of just like compositions and After Effects. So let's say you have multiple designs set up for a client and you have them all in different layers and to show the client you'd have to go in and hide the layers that you don't want and then bring the layers that you do want back which could take some time or even trying to save previews for your client would take a lot of time too so let's go ahead and see what we can do with the layer comps I'm gonna go to window layer comps to turn on that window and I'm gonna go ahead and create a new layer comp since I have it already set up just the way I want it I'm going to create a new layer comp, name it Gorilla, and I want to apply it to the visibility of the layers, the position, and the appearance, which will enable it for the layer styles and blending modes of each layer. Click OK, and now we have this Gorilla layer comp. So I want to go in and go ahead and hide this one, bring in the two, hide the Gorilla text, bring in the lion text, hide the Gorilla's picture, bring in the lion and the background change that to the field as well so now that we have that done we're gonna go ahead and create another new layer comp and we can name this lion again apply it to all the layers click OK and here we have the lion so let's go back to the gorilla and you see gorilla one pictures change and then the lion comp just like that so if you have multiple variations of a design that you want to show your client, this will be much quicker and easier for you. So let's say I want to save each of these comps as a JPEG. Well I can by going to File, Scripts, Layer Comps to Files. And bring this over here. I can choose a destination. I can choose a file name prefix, Zoo Animals. And I can choose the file type. I want this to be a JPEG and the quality can be set at 8. So I'm gonna hit run and it's gonna run each layer comp it's saved and now if I go to my desktop I can open up the folder for the layer comp and I have each image right here saved. Pretty easy. So there you have it using the layer comps here in Photoshop to make your workflow much easier and quicker for you. Hopefully this helped. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. Follow at Rob's Productions on Twitter and like us on Facebook.